You were the health minister um, when the redevelopment of Children's Hospital was being proposed. Yeah. And the Premier was insistent that it be built through a public-private partnership. And I'm wondering why you and other Liberals support P3s in hospital construction when governments can borrow money at a lower interest rate than the private sector. Well, I think the, and, and I'm a supporter of uh, public-private partnerships, I think they've proven to be very successful. Uh, when I was health minister, the, at the Abbotsford Regional Hospital was completed, and it was uh, completed uh, on time, in fact, before on time. It was, it, it was completed in advance of what had been anticipated, and it was completed under budget. I think what I think the magic in P3s uh, largely comes from very motivated private sector partners who have enormous incentive to see the job completed on time and on budget because if it, if it is not, uh, their profit uh, from that arrangement will be either uh, reduced or in some cases eliminated by it not being on time and on budget. I think the also, also, um, and, and again, I think I'd say this generally of government, and it's based on about 30 years of experience at the municipal government, at regional district government, at provincial government. Uh, there, is, there is no sort of built-in expertise in those levels of government in doing major projects. They can certainly do small projects and do them very well. When it comes to multi-million dollar projects or tens of millions of dollars or hundreds of millions of dollars in big projects, it, is, uh, it requires a level of expertise which is not always resident and in fact is rarely resident in, in those governments. We don't why, why the private financing? Why can't the government finance and put it on the books as government debt and borrow at the lower interest rate but take advantage of the private sector in every other way? So, good question. Uh, I think that, it, in fact, government can. That is always an option for but government. But it doesn't sound like you will do that with the Children's Hospital, correct? Uh, I'm, uh, I would have to defer to others. I haven't been uh, in and around the Children's Hospital project now for, for two years, so I'm, I'm not sure exactly what their approach is. Uh, with respect to the boring, but I mean that that is uh, always an option for government. If, if, for example, we got a big differential on the voting or on the borrowing rate between what the government could achieve through its uh, its own borrowing versus what would be possible through a through a public private partnership, I think if the dif differential is sufficient, then government could borrow if they chose uh, from their own sources. But let me uh, let me check into that because I want to get a better answer. But there's another aspect as it pertains to municipalities. Any capital project over 50 million, they have to do through a public-private partnership, unless they can bring forward a whole bunch of paperwork to demonstrate to the province that they can do it less expensively mm -hmm. through conventional government procurement. I'm wondering, would you maintain that requirement that municipalities must go the P3 route? Well, I'm unless they can prove otherwise. Uh, I'm not an ideologue on the point. I think that uh, it is incumbent. <coughs> it is incumbent on government to look at each uh, each situation. If we can demonstrate that the structure for a particular project is more beneficial doing design build versus P3 or doing some other form of uh, of construction, uh, then we should look at that. Again, the, the value of P3s is that it does bring discipline and responsibility onto the private partner to deliver on time and on budget. There is, there is uh, I think, great, uh, great practicality in that piece. However, around the issue of borrowing, again, I'm not going to approach it from an ideological perspective. If what, what we have to commit ourselves to is getting the best deal for the taxpayer possible. And if that, uh, if that best deal involves design build versus uh, public-private partnership, then I'm glad to look at that. I think we should, we, should, uh, we should subject ourselves as a government to that same rigor around what's the best approach to construction and operation. Uh, what's the best approach? We should subject ourselves to the same rigor as we would subject uh, potential partners in a P3 deal.